It was an historic time in Las Vegas. It was a great news time. It was a great time to be a reporter, and I was at KLAS Television Channel 8, and at the time it was, without any question, the most trusted news organization in the city. Our news director, Bob Stodall, was just an amazing journalist. He did something that was really, uh, a lot of people wondered why and, and how, but he hired a guy from a little tiny newspaper in North Las Vegas, Ned Day. Ned Day was the last guy in the world that you would think of as a television journalist. But as it turned out, Ned was one of the best journalists that I ever met in my lifetime. Ned took me under his wing. I was the organized crime reporter. He did the same with George Knapp. Like a lot of people in that newsroom, we were fearless. And collectively, we were total pains in the ass of Tony Spilatro. We're worried about... You guys gotta cut it out, I'm warning you know, all right? Don't give him a Tony Spilatro's winning streak in court was unparalleled in the ranks of organized crime. But lately, even Spilatro had to wonder about his future. Along with a 17-count trial, which had ended in a mistrial, there was a separate murder trial slated. And a case implicating Spilatro in skimming from Las Vegas casinos was also waiting in the wings. All of the other defendants in the skimming case were convicted. Mark Fierro, Eyewitness News 8. Ned would take those stories and we would send them to WBBM in Chicago. And so Tony would get in trouble here, but when they got to Chicago, Tony would then be in trouble with his bosses. And that was the beginning of the end for Tony Spilatro. I was the one who was always physically uh, confronting Tony. You saw in that, in that one video, I was the one who was in his face. But Ned was the one behind the scenes. Tony knew it, and Tony absolutely hated Ned, and the feeling was completely mutual. I'm gonna tell you a story that nobody outside of that newsroom ever heard, and that is, Tony had the trial of his life, 18 counts, 18 different defendants, each with 18 counts, and I was covering the trial. I took a trip, a pre-planned trip, to Hawaii. Who goes to my place? Ned Day, who ends up in a physical confrontation with Tony Spilatro that basically goes like this. Tony sees Ned and he says, I've saved your life for the last time, Ned Day. And Ned, you could smoke cigarettes back then for effect in the, in the federal courthouse hallways. And Ned says, I trust your better judgment. And Tony exploded. My better judgment, you use your better judgment, Ned Day, and he starts screaming at him. It's a couple days later that Tony had a massive heart attack, and that was the beginning of the end for Tony Spilatro. One Monday morning in June of 1986, I come into the office, and Ned is right there and he says, Tony didn't report to authorities in Chicago. He was under arrest, he's on bail, and so, when you move back and forth, you got to tell authorities where you were. It was by agreement with the court. Didn't show up, and I said, he's dead. He has to be dead. Because as long as Tony was showing up, then you couldn't deny him bail. If you ever did deny him bail, he'd probably end up in prison for the rest of his life because he was always facing charges. The guy was like a lightning rod. And so I turned to Ned and I said, what are we going to do now? He's the one that made this place so exciting. He's the, he was the lightning rod, he was the lead story. He was always the lead story. Now Las Vegas is, is just a, a regular news town, well that I know. It was a few months later, I quit. Went to Washington DC to work for the House of Representatives. And it was about a year after that, that Ned Day died under mysterious circumstances that to this day, some people say may have had something, some say everything to do with Tony Spilatro, who had preceded Ned in death. That was Las Vegas. And I'm proud of the work that all of us did at KLAS Television in those years, with so much going on in our city, as the city grew up and I grew up. I'm Mark Fierro. Mark Fierro, Eyewitness News 8.